Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So there's been some pretty big news lately uh, in regards to Lightning Strike. So with the uh, new additions to the uh, gem system in Path of Exile last week with the Multi-Strike gem, uh, Lightning Strike became uh, pretty much the best candidate for this new support gem. Now, I don't have a Multi-Strike to show you guys, but uh, what Multi-Strike does, as I'm sure many of you already know, is it multiplies your attack speed and reduces your melee damage by a multiplier. And because Lightning Strike had a melee component and a range component, the Multi-Strike was only reducing the melee component and not the projectiles. So these new builds came about because Multi-Strike essentially doubled the projectile DPS, you know, where they were pretty good. In my opinion, they were close, if not top tier builds. So they were on par with like EK, Freeze Pulse, Dual Spark, you know, all the cookie cutter stuff that you guys have all seen everywhere in Path of the Exile already. Uh, in my opinion, it was around that level. However, the guys over at Grinding Gear have decided this is too powerful for a melee ability, but it, to be fair, it's not really a melee ability. And uh, they've kind of done something that I think they shouldn't have. Uh, they are going to nerf it. How they're going to nerf it, I don't know, but uh, I want to show you guys how Lightning Strike works in all the details um, so there's no more misconceptions because it's a very complicated ability and if used correctly, you don't even need Multi-Strike for it to be a good ability. And that's what I really want to highlight today and you can kind of understand what the nerfs are going to be uh, from my explanation or if you're already familiar with Lightning Strike, maybe you already know uh, what they have in mind. So, Lightning Strike. Lightning Strike is an ability that uh, hits the target with a melee attack and converts half of it to lightning from your physical, and it does a projectile attack, and the projectile does 30% less projectile damage. Less means it's a multiplier, so you do uh, 0.7 of your melee hit, unless you have um, you know, certain other kind of uh, little things that may change that. So what, what can those be? So for instance, when you have your character, you have, let's say for instance, strength, and strength gives you melee physical damage. However, because when you look at the um, ability, the projectile is not melee. So it doesn't count the strength as the melee physical conversion. Now, there are many ways to use lightning strike, and some of which can ignore this mechanic. If you want to use lightning strike, kind of like you know a wander for instance where you use additive elemental damage for instance like the necklace 4 to 57 lightning you don't care about any of that you know that 4 to 57 is reduced by the 30 percent because it's the projectile you know if you're regarding the projectiles but that's it you know there's no there's no like melee multipliers there's no none of that multi-strike will obviously reduce the uh, melee hit for that but it won't reduce the projectile and uh, let me show you guys why that is so the melee component of Lightning Strike, while it is converted into the range component, not all the things work together. So for instance, if you have a support gem, melee physical damage, this is one of the most powerful melee support gems in the game because it multiplies your melee physical damage. But when it comes to Lightning Strike converting the projectile from your melee attack, it only converts the physical part and what that means is it doesn't convert the melee part. So what is the difference? How does that make any sense? Let me show you guys a very clear difference. So you go to the Templar starting tree, you have 12% increased melee physical damage. If you get this passive and you hit someone with a melee lightning strike, it will do 12% increased melee physical damage. It will apply to it. But the projectile will not because the projectile is not melee. On the other side, when you see something like 12% increased physical damage and it doesn't have the melee part in it, the 12% increased physical damage will apply to both the melee hit and the ranged projectile. And similarly, this works inversely. So, as I mentioned with the melee physical damage, it will not apply to the projectile. And, you know, this has a lot of factors. For instance, when it comes to the strength, the strength is also melee physical damage, but you can convert the strength bonus with iron grip to apply to the projectile to scale your physical attack. 
And similarly, you can do stuff like uh, point blank. Point blank will always work. Um, make the projectiles do a lot more damage uh, when they're close up. What this means is if you combine point blank um, with iron grip, uh, you can scale the uh, ranged projectile to the full 70% of your tooltip DPS and then multiply it by 1.5 in the ideal situation with point blank. And as such, you can you know, get to the scenario where your ranged projectile is actually doing more than the tooltip DPS. But with multi-strike, what multi-strike did is it did the opposite of melee physical damage. It reduced the physical damage by a multiplier, but only the melee portion, and in addition to that, doubled your attack speed. And because the projectile was not affected by the melee you know, penalty of the gem, then the projectile was receiving no penalty, but doubling its attack speed, making multi-strike the number one support gem for lightning strike. That's really what was going on. And um, it is kind of broken scaling, um, you know, to more than double the DPS component of an ability through one support gem, but it's not unheard of. Um, and in my opinion, I think they should have left it alone. But what they're probably going to change is multi-strike, instead of being 40% less melee physical damage, it's just gonna be probably like chain, where it's you know 50% less damage. So instead of just the melee damage being nerfed, all the damage of the attack will be nerfed. Because uh, making that change, um, it will pretty much only make a penalty on lightning strike. I don't think any other ability will be affected by a change like that. And you can kind of uh, expect something like that in the future with lightning strike. But is that the end for lightning strike? In my opinion, it is not. It's still a very good ability. Uh, though I feel that with the multi-strike change, uh, it's going to be fairly difficult to scale a purely elemental uh, lightning strike. So, you know, when you use additive elemental damage, you can, you know, throw that in there a little bit. But I think the best way to scale lightning strike uh, right now is through physical conversion. Uh, you can still do the projectile action where you, you know, you're essentially a ranged character using lightning strike. But uh, you won't be able to, um, you know, do the melee as well. And you won't do as much damage as you once did with multi-strike. But essentially, what you, what you guys pretty much need to do is replace your multi-strike support gem, which is a red support gem, with added fire. So you'd be using uh, lightning strike, faster attacks, weapon elemental, and added fire. And you may or may not want to use like life leech or blood magic or you know elemental proliferation or LMP or mana leech, you know, there's a lot of other things to use after that, but those are the cookie cutter four. And in this game, typically what you're looking for is like a, a four link combo, and then, you know, spreading that out uh, into the five and the six in the later stages of the game. So, you know what, if you decided to roll lightning strike because of it was so popular, so overpowered with the multi-strike action, you know, my suggestion is uh, switch out what you're doing with a few things, get that added fire in there, get that multi-strike out of there, and uh, play with it some more. Um, I feel it's still a very strong build, uh, while obviously not as strong uh, after whatever nerf they have in mind uh, as it is now, but nonetheless, I think it's still going to be almost top tier, just like most other melee specs in the game right now. Hopefully you guys understand uh, what went on uh, in the video tonight with the, uh, with the lightning strike action. Uh, maybe check it out still, because Lightning Strike is a pretty awesome gem. It is one that I used in races, you know, all through closed beta, and I had a lot of fun. It's still very powerful. I hope you guys enjoy the ability as much as I have, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.